Yeah, we got another officer get got arrested. Remember the Palm Beach deputy, this guy here, that harassed, threatened, pulled his gun out on the car full of kids, young young men. Uh, the driver was a black man. I don't know about the rest of them. But uh, if y'all saw the video, there's a bunch of cussing. I'm not going to put it in there, and I figure y'all already seen it anyway. But he's threatening them. He pulls his gun out, like I said, and cussing and raising hell. And he's off duty. He's been drinking. And he's being just the kind of police officer we expect in this day and age. But this one got arrested. And they charged him with assault with a deadly weapon. And... There was something else that was, I believe it had to do with uh, the f a firearm and being under the influence. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember the exact charge right now, but I'll put it in the description. Well, they finally decided to arrest him. And with the charges he's got, he could not get bail overnight. He had to stay in at least until the first hearing, which means at least overnight. I don't know if they went and got him and arrested him or if they let him turn himself in. I assume they let him turn himself in because they know, we know how they do that. They come and get us and pull guns on us and ARs and break into our homes and beat people and pull them out and kill them. But if it's a police officer, they say, oh, just come turn yourself in. But I'm also, I have a problem with uh, the charge. Assault with a deadly weapon. I don't think a jury will take it. He didn't actually point it at anybody, even though I think he should be convicted with assault with a deadly weapon. I don't think a jury would take it. So either, again, we are see a DA that's filing charges that knows he can't win, or he just using the higher charge to plea bargain down later, But I guess what we really will find out is if it gets into court, whether he actually pursues it hard or not. And that's what we've seen before. They put a charge on that they know won't stick and they don't really push it. They don't really try that hard. And the cop gets off. And the next thing you know, he's back at work, either for the same department or another one. But at least he got arrested. And... I really hope at least the charges, whatever charges end up being stuck on him or put him in a position where he cannot be a police officer anymore, anywhere, ever. Time will tell. And that's really all I've got. Uh, if y'all saw the video, this man does not need a badge. He does not need a gun. Definitely does not need a gun. And he shouldn't be drinking if he's that can't handle himself. Well, that's really all there is for now. Uh, let's kind of, we're going to have to wait and see. And of course, it'll be months or years before we probably get a, any conviction or determination of whether he's guilty or not. And I thank y'all for stopping by this PMP News and I'm out of here.